to invoke the ministry calendar, simply move the mouse over the events menu item and click once. This is the dialog that we use to review upcoming as well as past events. As you all notice, there is a calendar control here. And um, depending on which direction you want to go, you can either go forward one month or backward one month. And uh, you need to pay careful attention to these date ranges down here. If this is not the particular date range that you're looking for, all you need to do is click on the No control. And then it prompts you to select the start date. We want to start on the 29th of June. And we want to end on the 6th of July. And we notice that we have a starting date of, of uh, the 29th of June at midnight, and it goes until the 6th of July, one, one uh, second before midnight. That's a valid date range, so we go ahead and click Yes. Then we have uh, the possible events that are within that date range. As you will notice right here, we have uh, the opportunity to scroll more than one page. Uh, this one particular page contains 10 items. That is a default for our website. And uh, if there's more than 10 items, you will see uh, this uh, indication down here on the page select control. And since we have the uh, date range that we're looking for, if we wanted to look at a specific item or find out more details about that item, simply move the mouse over the select statement adjacent to the event that you wanted more information on and click once. Here you would find out details like uh, more information about the ministry, who the chairperson was, and possibly a phone number. And once we have uh, completed checking that particular section, there are a couple of ways that uh, we can return to the top of the application. So you can simply go back over the events control and click once, or you can go to the home control and click once. And this will conclude our tutorial on using the ministry calendar. Thank you.